Hello everyone and welcome back to my videos. Today we are going to start with another video how to present someone. In our last video we have already done how to present myself. Okay. So now once we know how to present myself, now we are going to do how to present someone else. Okay. So let's start with our video. The first sentence is his name is whenever we be if, if I go to a party or if I meet somebody with my friend, how am I going to introduce my friend? I'll say this is or he is and his name. So if my friend's name is Rishi, I would say his name is Rishi. Okay. So this in French we will say il s'appelle Rishi. Okay. And if this is a girl, we will say el s'appelle Rashi. Okay. So this is how am I I'm going to say the name. The second thing that we can talk about is the age. So uh, I'm going to say he is maybe 20 years old. So I'll say il a 20 ans. And similarly, if uh, Rashi is 20 years old, I would say el a 20 ans. Okay. So now we know how to say name. Now we know how to say age. The third thing that can come is where he or she resides. Okay. So for Rishi, I would say uh, il abit a Delhi. If he is staying in Delhi, we would say Il Abit A Delhi. Okay. And if Rashi stays in Delhi, I would say El Abit A Delhi. Okay. This is how we are going to tell how somebody stays at in a city. Okay. So three things we have done. Okay. Now in the series, a fourth thing that we can talk about is uh, where if, if somebody asks me, okay, does uh, Rishi belong to Delhi? And if he doesn't belong to Delhi, and maybe if he comes from uh, some other state, maybe Rajasthan. So we would say, uh, he belongs to Rajasthan. So we would say, il vient de Rajasthan. Similarly, if Rashi is from Rajasthan, we would say, el vient de Rajasthan. So this is how we show somebody's belonging to a city or a state. Okay, so next in series, we can also talk about his or her profession. If uh, we say what he does or what is his profession, so uh, we would reply, il a with his profession. If he is student, we would say, il a étudiant. Okay, and if Rashi is a student, we would say, el a étudiant with feminine form okay feminine form of adjective will be used here okay so next we can also talk about the nationality if the question arises what is the nationality of rishi or what is the nationality of rashi so we would say for rishi we would say il a indian okay and for rashi we would say l a indian okay he is indian and she is indian Okay, so far good. Okay, so next we can talk about his or her marital status. Okay, if he is married or unmarried, that is single. So if uh, Rishi is not married, if he is still single, we would say il a celibataire or il a marié. Il a celibataire if he is unmarried, that is single, and if he is married. Il a marié. Okay. Similarly, if Rashi is single, we would say L a celibataire. And if Rashi is married, we would say L a marié. Okay. So the next sentence uh, or next question that arises is which all languages Rishi speaks or which all languages does Rashi knows or she can speak. So for Rishi, we would say Il parle. And if he speaks multiple languages, maybe Hindi, English, French. So we would say, Il parle Hindi, Anglais et Français. Similarly, if Rashi speaks multiple languages, we would say, El parle Anglais, Hindi et Français. And you can add many more languages as per what you want to say. Okay. So this is how we present somebody else whenever we wish to present or introduce somebody to uh, someone else okay I hope you have understood 
If you wish to know more sentences, you can write in comment section and you can always subscribe to the channel if you want to see more such videos on French tutorials. Uh, that's all for today. We will meet with another topic in our next video. Till then, take care and keep learning French. Au revoir. Merci. A bientôt.